Hello everyone, Susan Campfield here. Welcome to my stamp room. Come on in. We're going to relax and create together here in Sue Stampfield land. land. <laughs> um, I'm a messy crafter. I'm going to warn you right out of the shoot. Um, I often put things down and then I put something else on top of them and I can't find them. So we play a little game here at Sue Stampfield. I love for you to play along when I lose something and then I find it again. We say found it and we all take a sip of our beverage. So let me know what's in your cup tonight. I have delicious ice water in mine. Ooh, getting a little low. Uh-oh, time for a refill. <laughs> uh, today is Saturday, January 20th, and uh, earlier today I was live with the um, January Crafternoon Fun Fold, so you can check out that on my channel. I'm going to show you the cards tonight in case you missed, uh, missed out on the newest Fun Fold. So every month I um, create a Fun Fold card, and customers who placed a qualifying order of $50 or more in the U.S. last month got a packet to make the one of the cards along with me in the video. And so um, if you place an order here in January, um, $50 before tax and shipping, you'll get a packet for next month's Craftinoon Fun Fold Adventure. Um, so would love to have you join me. Shout out to my moderator, Jennifer Walsh. She's hanging in the comments here on YouTube. She's going to be dropping us measurements and all the things so thanks for all you do jennifer helping us out here and i did want to remind you that um, part of crafternoon there will be a uh, pdf tutorial that is very in-depth and detailed walking you through how to make the cards step by step how to do the card base so you can adapt it to what you have and then if you want to make any of the five exactly all those in, in instructions are in the tutorial that will be available soon it is not available yet um, the best way to find out when it's going to be available is to go to suestampfield.com, click on subscribe, and um, click on blog posts. And what will happen is when that is available, a blog post will go up. You'll get that in your inbox, and you'll know that it's ready to go. So um, I wanted to thank each and every one of you for making and sending handmade cards. You're making the world a kinder place, one card at a time. So thanks for all that you're doing. And let's go ahead and dive right in tonight. I'm going to go to <laughs> all the buttons, all the buttons. Hey, there we go. There's the desktop. All right. So quick little recap. If you were not able to join us this afternoon for Crafternoon, or if you were, shout out to my Crafternoon uh, groupies from this afternoon. Um, some of you even made the card along with me. So um, the Fun Fold card this month is the Box Seat Fun Fold card. This card stands for display like so and then the flaps fold in and it fits in a standard envelope so the finished size is four and a quarter by five and a half and the um the reason it's called a box seat if, if you've ever gone to an old-fashioned theater and seen those cool ornate box seats that are up on the balcony um, or maybe an opera house um, those um, cool box seats that are just for a small group of people that's what this reminded me of because it does pop out and so um, if you can imagine here we'll take this uh, this little figure <laughs> And you can see um, there's someone sitting in their box seat watching the show. So that was the name of, um, that's where the name came from for this fold. So this was the one that um, people who placed a qualifying order last month, they got the packet to make this. There are no stamped images in the packet. Um, they provide their own greetings. So um, this is designer paper and uh, that's where the birds came from. And this is the uh, flight and airy designer paper, which is free right now during celebration. And then on the back, you also can decorate it as well. So, um, so that was the main card. And then, of course, I made four alternate cards like I always do. This one is with the beautiful um, stippled roses bundle and the softly stippled designer series paper. Softly stippled designer series paper is another celebration freebie. So during January and February, if you place a $50 order, you can get this beautiful designer paper for free. And I'm going to show you what this looks like standing up. And then on the back side, I've got a few more of those beautiful images from the Stippled Roses stamp set. And next up, we have this adorable card with the bee, the bee mine uh, bundle. 
um, is that what it's called, Jennifer? Uh, I think so. It's just floating around on my desk somewhere still <laughs> looking for my cheat sheet and I don't know where I put it. Um, so anyway, this one is um, so cute with the bee and the, this is a punch. And then I used the punch to make the speech bubble for the little, the little bee saying, love you. And then on the back of this one, we have some more of that super cute designer paper from that suite. And Jennifer is reminding me it's Be My Valentine is the name of the uh, bundle and with the punch. And then the paper is called Be Mine, I believe. So thank you, Jennifer, for clarifying that. Um, You're as sweet as honey by the honey jars on the back. And then I've got a few more. Hang on. <laughs> if you're willing to look at a few more, these are a couple more box fold cards. So this one is with the hot air balloon and that beautiful um paper that goes with it oh my gosh you guys it's been a long day already hang on ah found it take a sip everyone we have our first found it of the night i found my cheat sheet lighter than air is the name of this beautiful designer paper i just love the soft colors in this paper it is gorgeous and um on the back we have more hot air balloon action here this uh um Lighter Than Air Designer Series paper uh, matches the dies, so you can actually die cut some of the um, some of the balloons right out of this. So, um, and let's see, I had a question about um, are there measurements for the DSP for this card? Um, they the measurements for the DSP, all of that will be in the tutorial in the. Um, in the video, we gave you the basic dimensions and I walk you through how to cut and score this, um, this card because it's a little bit different on the cutting and scoring. So that's what we did in the video. And then all of the other dimensions uh, for the cards is, are going to be in the tutorial. Okay, good question. All right, and then the last one is, ooh, this one, so pretty. This one is with the beautiful Forever Love Designer Series paper and the layering florals embossing folder back here. And then the Lifetime of Love bundle. Beautiful paper. I love that pretty peacock. And on the back side, some more of that beautiful paper, different pattern. And uh, um, some of the die cuts from that Lifetime of Love bundle. So um, that was the last one so fun there are so many possibilities with this fold i mean you could use embossing folders and designer papers and just make it look completely different um obviously they they do um they look quite different depending on what you use <laughs> like these two are are very different cards but both super useful and cute right? all right so what are we doing tonight so tonight we're making a card tomorrow i'm in a swap hang on i gotta move stuff when things are falling what the heck <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Tomorrow, um, I have a large, um, demonstrator event. It's for leaders, um, silver and above. It's an event I help organize and it's called stamp share for leaders. And we're doing a swap and people could register to do the swap. And we have 42 people swapping, <clears throat> which is a lot of swap cards. And so I'm going to show you tonight the, the card that I created for the swap. So we're going to start with, oh, what should we start with? We're going to start with a card base. That's probably a really good place to start. Um, and we're going to use the Poetic Expressions uh, Designer Series paper, and pa paper, not paper, paper. <laughs> okay, let me grab my paper trimmer here. And the Thoughtful Expressions Bundle. Those are the two things that were two of the things that we're using tonight. So we're gonna take our uh, five and a half by eight and a half piece of cardstock here, and we're just gonna score it at four and a quarter for our standard card here. All right. And then we are gonna add an embossed layer to our card. That embossed layer is going to be four and a quarter by five, excuse me, four by five and a quarter. I apologize. So that'll layer nicely on there. And then let's look at our designer series paper here. 
got some other little bits and pieces. So the designer series paper we're using is called Poetic Expressions. It's uh, part of the Poetic Expressions suite, which is where the, the Thoughtful Expressions bundle is in. So we're going to use the, these two patterns, which are both have Lost Lagoon on them. So they look nice together. Um, this one is one by three, and this one is three by three. Uh, because I had to do so many cards for this swap, I had to be very careful in what design I used for my um, for my card so that I would have enough. Um, on the back of this one is a beautiful wild wheat uh, floral. And on the back of this one is um, a little wild wheat and pink uh, little tiny blossoms. Um, but we're going to use this side. Um, I think this card that we're about to make would also look lovely with some of the other uh, papers in this pack. Um, most, most assuredly the boho blue. Um, and there is a, um, a different, okay, I'll just pull it out too. All right, here's <laughs> the boho blue. The reverse side is misty, uh, wait, moody mauve, sorry, moody mauve <laughs> with a little bit of um, bubble bath in it and white. And then on the back of, I think it's this one's the other, nope, this one is uh, wild wheat with a little bit of bubble bath. And on the back is some green. Where is the other blue that would go good with that bow? Oh, I think it's on the back of this one, maybe. Aha, found it. <laughs> so the front of this is a beautiful um, bubble bath. And on the back is this other boho. Um, and those would be beautiful on this card as well, that combination. And then we also have um, some more Moody Mauve here with the pattern on the back. Um, we actually used some of this um, in previous videos. So I love pairing this Poetic Expressions paper with, with the Softly Stippled, um, no, no, that's not called Susan, Softly Sophisticated Bundle um, that's part of the Celebration Freebies. So right now Celebration is going on. So if you place a, um, an order, you get to pick out some free product. And one of the product options is the Softly Sophisticated Bundle. It's a uh, bossing folder. Can you see that embossing folder? And this um, floral. And I love to pair it with this Poetic Expressions uh, paper. This is a card we, we did here on one of our videos. And um, you can find this on my channel, on my YouTube channel. And then in the last month's Crafter Noon, one of the Crafter Noon fun folds featured that same combination of the Poetic Expressions. Let's open this up. The Poetic Expressions, it's in that boho blue we were just talking about, and the Softly Stippled stamp set, and the Softly Stippled embossing folder. And then these dies are, um, we're using one of these tonight too, um, and that is the, um, uh, thoughtful Expressions dies. So Gretchen's asking if Stampin' Up! has run out of some of the freebies. Um, not to my knowledge, Gretchen. Um, at least they had it earlier today or as of late last night. Um, when you're shopping and you go to pick your free items, if you've earned a $500, or excuse me, $500. If you earned a $100 uh, free item, if your order is over $100, um, they're the first things listed are the $50 items. Down below is um, the $100. It's a pink button that you click on to see the $100 choices. So I know that can be a little bit confusing. All right, some people are having some phone issues. I'm so sorry about that. Um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and adhere our designer series paper. So I'm gonna get my adhesive here and add this. So again, this is a three inch piece and I am adhering it on a three and a quarter by four and three eighths inch piece of basic white. Okay, there we go. And I have a three inch by one inch piece of designer paper that I'm going to put down here. I'll just put some adhesive on here. And so again, the, the dimensions on this white were, were kind of odd. They're three and a quarter by four and three eighths. So that gives me this little um, space between the two pieces of designer paper. And that's where I'm gonna put some ribbon. So in the annual catalog, we have this really pretty um, Lost Lagoon bordered ribbon. 
I'm not sure why it's called a bordered ribbon. <laughs> I don't know. Bordered ribbon to me means like, um, I mean, I guess it has a an edge on it. Um, so maybe that's why it's called that. But it's a it's a kind of a linen type of look. Let's see if I can get this to focus. There we go. It's a linen look. And um, so we're going to just put this on our card right here uh, where that space is between those two pieces of paper. OK, so I need some adhesive there. We are going to use some multi-purpose liquid glue to stick our ribbon on. And we're going to put just a thin line of adhesive there. If you get it too thick, um, it can um, soak right through your ribbon and give you some weird dark spots. So I put a little bit on with my tip. I kind of spread it out a little bit. And I'm actually going to even remove some of it. It's, it's not too bad, but there's a little more than I like. So I've got a little scrap of paper here and I'm just gonna kind of, um, if you're wondering what to do with those little shards of paper that you have laying around <laughs> by your cutting desk, this is a good way to just kind of scoop up some excess glue and remove it from your project. Also, if you let your glue dry, it'll dry sticky. Um, so your thing will still stick, but it won't ooze. <laughs> so I'm going to just cut my ribbon here to be a little bit longer than I need. I just eyeballed it. I just held it over here and just gave myself a good some good tails to, to go around the end. I maybe cut it a little bigger than I needed to. Um, I'm about four and a half inches in case you're wanting to know. All right, <laughs> so let's go ahead and put this on right here. Felicia said she didn't see the detailed dogwood. I did see that one uh, last night. So maybe it was, um, it's under, again, it's the pink button that says the $100 uh, items at the very bottom. You have to click that to see the other choices. So that is holding well on that glue and it's not soaking through. So yay for that. And then I'm going to flip my paper over here. And you could use actually regular scotch tape for this, whatever. I'm just going to put a little bit of um, seal right there and there to wrap around those pieces. Okay. And I think we're ready for some die cutting. So, oh, you know what? I'm going to do one stamping thing first. So I've got a piece of basic white here and I'm going to grab the Lost Lagoon ink pad. And I need a stamp. Doot, doot, doot. All right. So we are using the Thoughtful Expressions uh, bundle right now. These dies, you guys, are amazing. <laughs> I've been using these on so much. So you can see them here on this uh, marvelous Funfold card from last month's Crafter Noon. And you can see them in this month's <laughs> box seat card from today's Crafter Noon. Just really fun shapes. And I love having all these size choices. Um, and the labels are great too. On this card, we're actually going to use the label. We're also going to use these leaf dies and the little uh, flowers here. So I'm going to take the um, You're In My Thoughts stamp from the set. We're also going to use this one just to decorate the inside of our card a little bit. So let me grab this. All right. And I'm just going to stamp it on here. We go, and then I'm going to grab that smallest uh, label die right here. Whoops, wrong. <laughs> did you see what I did? I almost grabbed the wrong one. Oh my goodness. All right, never a dull moment here. You know what? I need this ink pad again, but I've already been dipping cards in the ink pads today. So <laughs> that's going to go into timeout over there until we're ready for it. All right, let's bring in the die cutting and embossing machine. Stamp it. Oops. <laughs> Stamp it, cut machine. I got to raise my camera up. Knocking into stuff. All right. I've got it squished in here. There's plenty of room. Ha ha. Okay. <laughs> um, let's start. Before we do that die cutting, let's start with a little embossing. So we have our four by five and a quarter inch piece. <gasps> oh, yay. We're going to use one of my favorite embossing folders. This is the Quattrofoil tile embossing folder. It's a 3D folder. 
it is just gorgeous. It's in the annual catalog. Um, we've had it for a while. It's just stunning. Can't go wrong with this one. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead. Get it in there somewhat straight, Susan. Come on. Yes, I talk to myself when I craft. It's it's a bad habit, but all right, <laughs> let's move some stuff so I can crank the handle and send it through. So this is a 3D embossing folder. So I'm using the number four plate because that's the one that works with 3D embossing folders. What I love about the machine is it tells you all this stuff right here, right here. It gives you all the details on the platform, what you need for whatever you want to do. All right, so we're going to set that aside. <gasps> let's see, let's see how beautiful it is. <gasps> Isn't it gorgeous? And it, it is made to be distressed in antique. I know that's probably not a word. <laughs> um, so you have some spots that are smoother and some spots that are more raised up and that's how it's supposed to be. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside and grab the, the um, die cutting part. So we've got um, number one platform here and then the number two thin die adapter then the number three plate, and then the top number three plate. And we're going to go ahead and put our, um, our sentiment right in here. And I'm just going to line it up. What I love about die cutting sentiments, it doesn't matter if you stamp it crooked, because <laughs> you can just straighten it up right in the machine. Oh, I'm stalling because I don't see any post-it notes. You would not believe the mess. Well, yeah, you probably would. <laughs> I've got so many dies and things over here on the right side of my desk. It is crazy. Crazy. Oh, you know what? Here's one. Ha ha. Found it. Well, I found one anyway. I found a post-it note. This is one from leftover from Craftanoon today that had uh, the embellishments in it. And so it's still got some good sticky on it. Let's repurpose that one right there. Wasn't that folder the distressed tile folder? Um, Is that what it's called, Jennifer? I thought it was. Did I say the wrong name? You might be right. You might be right, Barbara. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and set this through. Jennifer, set me straight. All right, I'm going to send this through. All right. Oh, you know, I should have die cut multiple things at once. Dang, dang it. Okay. So I think Virginia has a 34 year um, Anniversary? Is that what we're talking, chatting about in the comments? All right, so we've got this um, is our little sentiment there for our card front. And then we're going to do some of these pretty, pretty dies in the Thoughtful Expressions dies. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in. And then I'm going to grab this leaf and this leaf and these flowers. <laughs> the viewers are smart, aren't they? What the heck embossing folder did I just use? Did I call it the wrong name? Is it Distress Tile? I think it's Distress Tile. I think I'm crazy. <laughs> um, I've been a demonstrator for 26 years, and sometimes I randomly bring up other products <laughs> in my brain, even though I know the right name, but that one I totally missed it. All right, so I've got a little piece of Lost Lagoon here, and I'm putting the longer leaves and the shorter leaves on that. And then I am putting um, the little flowers right here on this little piece of white. Great way to use up scraps. I've got some more anniversaries happening in the comments. Happy anniversary, Anne. And Tanya, too. Wow. January is a popular month to get married. All right, let's crank this through and see what we have here. All right. You know what? This would make such a pretty, whoops, and upside down it wouldn't. This would make such a pretty um, anniversary card. I hadn't thought of that. I'm so glad you guys are talking anniversaries because you could put forever and always on the front. Um, that would be really pretty. Mm. Okay, thanks for the idea, guys. You're always so good at that. It is the distressed file, <laughs> distressed tile embossing folder. Ah, thank you. I'm just slightly crazy. Okay, awesome. <laughs> thanks, Jennifer. All right, and thank you, viewers, for setting me straight. 
All right, so I've got some die cut leaves here and some die cut flowers. All right, pull those out. Let me see if I can track down my take your pick tool. Here it is. These guys need a little convincing to come out. Uh, they're nicely nestled in there, but they need to come out and make a card pretty. So I'm going to pop out these flowers. I love it when a die cuts multiples because I'm super lazy. <laughs> I'll, let's just this is call let's just call it what it is, right? I'm just super lazy, so I love being able to die cut multiple things at once. So we're going to use all three of these cute little flowers, and here's the leaf right here. So we've got our one, two, three flowers. Don't worry, we're going to make them even cuter. All right, there we go. I'm going to dump you guys right on here because these nails don't always want to pick things up. And let's see if we can convince this one to come out. Come on. You know you want to. There we go. Just give it... Um, there we go. Ooh, Debbie is celebrating her 55th next next uh, weekend. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Happy anniversary. All right, we got one more little leaf right here. All right, so let's grab all these goodies and pop them right back before Susan can lose them. <laughs> let's put them away. All right, bear with me here. Okay, they're all back back on their magnets so they can behave. I think we're done with this right now, so we're going to get this out of the out of the way. And let's put our card together. Yay! Okay. So, all our bits and pieces here. Well, those flowers like totally just I was like, "Where are the flowers? They're they're there. They're just hiding." All right. I'm gonna dump them out here. All right, there we go. So, we're going to go ahead and stick this on the front of the card. The Distress Tile <laughs> Embossing Folder, which Susan sometimes gives another name. Quatrefoil Tile was one we've had previously that I think is retired, isn't it? It was really cool too. <laughs> but it was not exactly the same as this. All right, we are getting that stuck down there. There we go. So pretty. <gasps> Love that white on white. You know I do. You know I do. All right, so this is trying to escape. Let's stick it back down there. Um, these linen threads like this are perfect for um, a wrap around on a card and they do add quite a bit of texture, which is nice. All right, let's grab our dimensionals. <clears throat> if you watch Craft at Noon today, <laughs> you saw that I had <clears throat> misplaced them. What a shocker, but um, they have been relocated. So I am gonna put a couple dimensionals on the tails of my ribbon to reinforce those so that they don't try to pop out. And let's get to at the bottom here. And you know what? We don't want the middle to cave in. So let's throw one on there too. Why not? This afternoon we used the edges <laughs> of the dimensionals because I couldn't <clears throat> track down any full ones. Not that they're not here, right? Mm, they just were hiding. Okay, let's go ahead and peel off the backings here. Yeah, lots of winter weddings. Oh, Quatrefoil is still around. It's an annual catalog. That's maybe the one I meant to grab, and I grabbed this one instead. This was from last fall's catalog, wasn't it? Oh, my goodness. All right. Yep, clearly losing my mind. It's all good. <laughs> all right, so there we've got our, um, our panel on there. And now we're going to make it beautiful with our little extra bits here. So we've got our, um, we've got our sentiment, but we've also got, I feel like I'm really far from the card. I'm going to scooch down a little bit. Um, we're going to add in some pretty sprigs here. Okay. So we're going to have this one kind of coming down here. And we'll be putting some cute flowers on there. So this one I'm going to attach with a glue dot. And actually, you know what? I'm going to, um, maybe I'll just use a dimensional. Yeah, that's the ticket. All right, I'm going to stick this on with a dimensional right there. That dimensional is going to get covered up with our little label, right? 
And then this one, I'm actually going to put some mini dimensionals on the back. So let's see. <gasps> Yay, mini dimensionals. Found it. Take a sip, everyone. All right. So we're going to put this mini on the big leaf at the bottom. And then I will this one fit on this leaf or do I need to cut it in half? Let me check it. Well, it's peeking out just a little bit. Let's cut it in half. All right. Oh, look, here's a halfsy one right here. Just waiting to be used. Actually, I'll go ahead and do one of the leaves a little bit higher up here. So I've got one near the bottom, one near the top. That should be plenty to hold it. Peel those backings off. And then I want this. <laughs> it's sticking to me. Uh, oh, now it's going to stick to my table. All right. I'm going to go ahead and stick the label on here first. And then I'll tuck that one in behind. All right. So we're going to go ahead and put this label on. I'm just going to have it hanging over a bit on the side like so. You could have it in a little bit more. It doesn't really matter. And then this one. I'm just going to tuck it right behind here. Okay, so that's coming up from behind the label. And now we're going to add our cute little um, flowers on this. So Nicole says she pops random toward card straps in her folder and then her card strap, and then she embosses it to leave areas without embossing. Not sure I followed that. I don't know. I was trying to pop random torn quotes and then I and put it on your card, I'm guessing. So, and it would work with any folder, right? Okay, I think I understand it. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead. Well, my hands aren't tan because I live in Minnesota, but thank you for saying that. <laughs> and it must be the lighting. All right, let's take our little flowers. Now we're gonna um we're gonna adjust these a little bit. So we're going to grab a tool, a couple tools actually. So this is the um, stamp and pierce mat and I'm going to put my little flowers on this. Oh look, a dog here. All right, there we go. <laughs> and hang on, that one does not want to leave. It's, it's actually not my dog's hair. I know whose who's dog it is, though. Okay, there we go. We've got those three. And then we're going to grab our Take Your Pick tool, and we're going to take the pokey end out. So I'm going to pull that out. You just twist and pull. And when you get your Take Your Pick tool, you also get a, um, a piercing attachment. And it has a, a little ball at one end, a little teeny one, and a bigger one at the other end. I'm going to use the bigger one. And I'm just going to rub a little circle and I'm squishing down into that foam pad till my flower pops up. I'm gonna hold it up a little higher so you can see. Hopefully that's not blurry. So when I push it down, the petals kind of pop up and it gives my flower extra dimension. So they're kind of cupping, right? And then we're going to take um, some embellishments. Oh, found them. <laughs> uh, I can lose anything. It's amazing. What a skill I have. All right, so this is the Iridescent Pearls of Basic Jewels, and we're going to grab these. And oh, now I want my Take Your Pick tool back, so quickly pop that out, pop this back in, and pick these up. If you don't like changing things out, you can get two pay Take Your Pick tools. That's what I do, because <laughs> if one tool is good, I figure two must be better, right? All right, here we go. Let's pull this up. Come here. Here we go. So there we've got our three. I know they're teeny tiny. Hopefully they show our three little flowers. And now we're going to add them to our card. So let's grab some glue dots. Let's grab... Oh, found them. <laughs> well, I put them where they belong. Dang, I hate when I do that. It confuses me. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to grab a glue dot here. Kind of ball it up a little bit so it's a little blob of glue pop it on the back of one of the flowers and this one is going to go right here on this 
uh, leafy stem that's coming down below. And then I'm going to grab another glue dot for the next flower and put it on the back. And I'm going to pop this right on here. Okay, and then I'm going to grab another glue dot. There we go. And I'm going to put that right here near the top of the stem. All right, so there we've got our three little flowers decorating our leaves. And our card is coming together. We've got the front done. And now we're going to do a little something, something on the inside. Okay. I should have, <laughs> I should have one piece. Oh, golly, Susan, how do you lose things? It's really seriously. Pro oh, found it. It was under the dimensionals. Uh, okay. We're going to take a little piece of basic white here. And we're just going to add a little stamping with this pretty floral just coming in to the edges just just a bit just a little bit just to add a little something something on the inside now i'm going to be stamping on the paper and partially off the paper and i don't want to get it on my desk here so i am going to grab my glass mat studio so right now it's celebration. We talked about that and freebies when you place an order, but the other freebies that you can get um, are um, if you purchase the starter kit, you have an option. You can get this gorgeous glass mat studio that comes with a cleaning cloth and a silicone uh, mat. That's good for a lot of different things. Um, when you purchase the starter kit, so starter kits $125. Hang on a second. I need, um, what did I need? Oh, you know what? I'm going to turn off that ring light. It's annoying me. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> I know that just got darker, right? It's okay. So we've got our piece of paper here. This one is three and a quarter by four and a quarter, a little more normal size. Um, anyway, if you purchase the starter kit, you get $125 in product of your choice for $99. And then during celebration, when you get the starter kit, you've got two freebie choices. You can either get the Glass Mat Studio for um, free with your kit. That's uh, a $60 value. Or you can choose $30 in product instead if you don't want the glass mat. So I have just um, got my paper laid on the grid um, here. And I'm going to just stamp some flowers coming in from one edge, right like that. And then some flowers coming in from this bottom edge, just like that. And that layer is going to go inside our card. Now I've got some ink on my glass mat here. So I'm just going to take the cleaning cloth that came with it and just make that go away. <laughs> All clean. All right. So instead of wasting a piece of paper um, as a uh, mat behind there, I can use a, a device that can be cleaned and reused a million times. All right, so this is going to go inside the card. I'm actually going to leave it blank because this card would work for birthdays. It would work for anniversaries. It would work for, I'm just thinking of you, um, sympathy, um, so many things, right? So I'm going to go ahead and... We're, we're random pieces, <laughs> random pieces of paper are flying in. Oh my goodness. All right. Whatever, whatever. All right. <laughs> so, okay. And we're going to open this up. We dry now. We're dry now. All right. Oh, oh, hang on. <laughs> You're going to put it in the middle, Susan. Oh my goodness. Now, if you wanted to, you could add a mat of um, Lost Lagoon behind that if you really wanted that to pop out. I just decided to go a little more subtle um, with tone on tone. And there we have the card. Yay! 
Awesome. So there are a lot of uses for the glass mats, um, but the other, if you don't want a glass mat or you already have one, like many crafters do, um, you can also get that $30 in extra product. And I would love you to have you as part of my demonstrator family. Um, we have a team page and my team got to do um, this card. I walked them through how to cut the fun fold on Thursday. So um, they always get the sneak peek first. And a lot of times they help me name the cart. <laughs> so, um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera here. And hi. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. Again, you can watch the Crafternoon replay. Um, and if you want are interested in getting the tutorial or hearing about the tutorial when it is available, you can go to suestampfield.com click on subscribe and you'll be notified when that blog post goes up. Thank you very much, everyone. I hope you have a great rest of your night and thank you for making and sending handmade cards. You're making the world a kinder place one card at a time. Bye-bye.